Hello viewers, welcome to this video. One of my viewers asked me if there's a way to regenerate the cube config file for the uh, the cluster admin account. So if you have ever lost your cube config file or if you have access to your Kubernetes control plane, then you can regenerate your cube config file. So when you run your kubectl command, you need the cube config file that contains the cluster that you're going to connect to and along with the certificate, username and things like the namespace, context and so on. So you you need to have kubeconfig file in order to interact with your Kubernetes cluster. So if you're following my video, I've shown you, I've got a Vagrant environment, most of you might know. So once you do Vagrant up, it brings you a cluster with one master node and two worker nodes. And then uh, I've also shown you how to log into the master node to grab the kubeconfig file. So it's in the etc Kubernetes directory. The file is called admin.conf file. So if you lose that file, you can still log into your master node and get a copy of the admin.conf Con file, put it under dot cube directory under your home directory in the name config. All right, so that's the name difference here. So the file in the master node is admin.conf in etc Kubernetes, and you need to copy that file into your home directory under dot cube directory as config. So if you lose your config file, you can obviously get a copy again from the master node. But in your master node, accidentally you deleted your admin.conf file. So how would you regenerate it? So well, if you provisioned your Kubernetes cluster using kubeadm method and if you've got access to your kubernetes master nodes control planes then you can still regenerate the admin.com file using the kubeadm command so that's what we're going to be looking in this video all right so let me bring up my kubernetes cluster my using my vagrant environment so i'm going to git clone my kubernetes repository the link will be in the video description and once cloned we're going to bring up our vagrant environment cd to kubernetes and then to vagrant provisioning and then do vagrant up. So once that's complete, we're gonna copy the admin.conf kubeconfig file to our local machine and then interact with the cluster. And then I'll show you after deleting it how to recreate it using kubeadm command, okay? So this is gonna take five to six minutes. I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's done. All right, vagrant up command completed and our cluster should be ready. And now what I'm gonna do is, let me log into the master node. SSH root at 172.16.16.100, which is the IP address of my master node and the password is cube admin if you're using my vagrant environment okay so let's cd to etc kubernetes directory and here you have the admin.conf file so that's the file cube config file for the cluster admin user and we're going to copy that to our host machine so i'm going to exit out of it back on my host machine and i'm going to run this scp command connecting to the game master which is my master node and i'm downloading etc kubernetes admin.conf file to my home directory dot cube as config okay so before that i need to create my cube directory and then do the scp command again the password is cube admin okay there we go so we've downloaded the cube config file now we should be able to interact with our cluster so let's say kubectl get nodes yep our cluster is working fine and we can connect to our cluster okay let me delete the cube config file dot cube config okay so now my kubectl command doesn't know how to connect to a cluster so if i do kubectl get nodes that's the error you will normally get okay so let me log into the master node again cube admin cd to etc kubernetes and here we have the admin.conf file what if I accidentally delete admin.conf file? Okay, so how to regenerate your admin.conf file? You don't have admin.conf file that you can download to your host machine. So we can use the kubeadm command. And if I do minus minus help and point that to less, and we are going to be using the init command. So these are the list of available commands that we can use with kubeadm and we're gonna use the init command. If you're not using my Vagrant environment, I've also shown you how to manually set up your Kubernetes cluster in the first few videos. And we've used the kubeadm init command to initialize our Kubernetes cluster. So for initialization, we use the init command. Kubeadm init does a series of steps and one of them is to generate the kube config file. So in this video, we're just going to concentrate on that particular step. We don't want to initialize the entire cluster. The cluster is running fine all the components are talking to each other fine with their respective cube config files the only thing that we need to generate is the cube config file for the admin account that we lost okay so we're going to be using init command let's take a look at the help for the init command kubeadm init minus minus help piping that to less okay so what do we have here 
available commands face so there's only one available command to face that we are going to use okay so cubadium init face which face so as i said earlier cube cubadium init command does initialize your cluster and goes through series of faces and we are interested in a particular face where it generates the cube config file so let's take a look at the help documentation for that okay the list of available commands for the face subcommand is all these and we're going to be looking at the cube config so generate all cube config files necessary to establish the control plane and the admin cube config file so that we are going to be using the cube config subcommand okay so let's take a look at what options we have for the cube config subcommand okay so the available commands are we have these list of available commands and again we are going to be using this command admin because if you want to generate the cube config file regenerate cube config file for your controller manager you need to use this option for kubelet for scheduler you have to use these options so each of these components will have its own cube config file to interact with the cluster but what we are interested in is the admin command generate a cube config file for the admin to use and for kubeadm itself let's take a look at what options we have for the admin subcommand okay we don't have any subcommands here we're going to be using this command right here and looking at the flags what flags we need to be using so as you know we are running kubernetes cluster using vagrant environment in virtualbox and as you all know with virtualbox we have two set of interfaces one is the host only adapter that you can't use for the external traffic the other one is the private network that i've set up so we need to specify which ip address which network interface we're going to be using for our kubernetes traffic if you're using a physical server with just one network interface you probably don't need to use this option but in our case we definitely need to use that and then search directory because you know the cube config file contains the certificate we need to tell the cube ADM command where to find the kubernetes certificates in order to populate that in our cube config file so probably we'll be using this option as well and the cube config directory where do you want to place the generated cube config file by default it places in etc kubernetes as admin.conf file but if you want to save that in a different directory use this option which we don't actually need okay the only two options we're going to be using are api server advertise address and the cert directory okay so i'm in etc kubernetes and if you take a look at the directories here we've got the pki if i show you what's in pki this is the directory that contains all the certificates that that are used by different components in kubernetes okay so that's the cert directory that we're going to be using let's run the command now kubeadm init phase kubeconfig admin minus minus api server advertise address is 172.16.16.100 which is the ip address of my master node this node here and the other option is the cert directory where to find the certificates it's etc kubernetes sorry etc kubernetes pki and there we go writing admin.conf kubeconfig file now if i do an ls you will see the admin.conf file and i can do can take a look at what's in there so that's our config file with the certificates and everything okay now i can exit out of it back on my host machine i can do the scp command copy the new admin.com file that we generated cube admin is the password and now i can do kubectl get notes that's it okay cool i think that's all i wanted to cover in this video and uh, give this a try if you've got any questions let me know and i'll be happy to help Bye bye